recording YTPC. Billy Piper Mike here. It is uh, Wednesday, November 24th. Currently 28 degrees out. A little dippy this morning. So we're going up to 46. Chili. I'm in the process of trying to get uh, Christmas lights. I went to one Home Depot, they had like three quarters of what I need, and then I have to go to another Home Depot, which I was at yesterday, which I trying to do all white and trying to find the same like cool white or warm white or it's, it's a pain in the ass honestly and I've bought I'm just so fed up with the quality of Christmas lights anymore you know the LED ones are supposed to last forever and they don't and they're expensive so I basically just like buy new ones every other year <clears throat> anyway with that being said um, today I'm smoking my 2021 corn cob nation pipe of the year uh, you've seen this before. It's a, like a volcano, an acrylic stem, and uh, in it I am smoking the Country Squire's Figgy Pudding. It's aromatic. Uh, I'm not a huge aromatic guy, but I do enjoy a well done aromatic, especially ones that you can taste tobacco and not just humectant and topping. There's uh, two seasonal holiday blends that John David does. Figgy Pudding and Cordial Friends. Um, Figgy, Figgy Pudding, I'm pretty sure, is the more popular one. I get, like, some, some chocolate. Um, a little boozy. Maybe a little fruit kind of hard to pinpoint but it's good because you also you can taste the Virginias and the Burley it's not like a sopping wet mess it's uh, you know a lot like the quality of um Arrowhead or uh, Sleepy Hollow, those type of quality aromatics. And I enjoy them, um, you know, more on uh, you know, holidays around, you know, fall and Christmas. That's a time where they're enjoyable to me. I have to pick up, uh, it's gonna be a mess today, but I have to go pick up, uh, we're not cooking this year. And ever since my mom died, and she was always the one that did Thanksgiving dinner, and I took it for granted. Um, she made the best stuffing, the best turkey, like the way she did things, which was my great great grandmother's recipes, which I would have swore she had written down. Um, she she didn't, and when we cleaned her house out, I was heartbroken to find that you know nobody really you know I'm not really a, a, a 
cook, you know, and especially on Thanksgiving, I, I took it for granted. You know, my mom died at 61, it was sudden. So, you know, looking back now, I totally regret not spending some time, more time with her in the kitchen and, and getting, there, there, it's not just Thanksgiving, there's tons of stuff that she made that I wish I knew that she just had up here, she didn't write down. Um, so, you know, me and my wife every year, we're, oh, we'll make it this year and then we don't, you know, just we, it creeps up on us and you know, I don't want to try to make a turkey and snap Thanksgiving dinner on Thanksgiving and ruin it and then be like, oh, that sucked uh, should we order Chinese? Um, so there's an amazing place near us called Carlino's which um, you can order the whole, you know full turkey and all the sides and fixings it's an amazing like purveyor Italian purveyor of um, all kinds of stuff you know meats cheeses prepared meat I mean they had they are amazing um, there's a lot of good places like that around here um, so I have to go pick that up today and then tomorrow we just basically heat everything up and it's it's a, it just as good if not better than any anything I could do so but yeah I mean if uh, if your mom or dad or grandmother or grandfather are the ones who uh, who have those great recipes or make those amazing dishes don't take it for granted that you know they're going to be around forever because you know I don't think I'll ever be able to figure out a lot of my mom's recipes <clears throat> and they're basically gone forever you know which which is horrible but you know that's how life goes sometimes so um yeah I have to go pick that up and it's always it's so crazy that they have like cops directing traffic like in and out of the parking lot and it's and then when you walk in that store it's like I mean, they have everything under the sun, all handmade, amazing stuff, you name it. I, I like it. It's just amazing. So, I have to go deal with that, pick that up. I wasn't really trying to do this, run around and get Christmas lights, because we, we closed Black Friday, and then I put my Christmas lights up. So, I wasn't trying to do that. Um... get a chance to do it. I ran to a couple of the Home Depots near me after work and they didn't have it, what I needed and I thought that this bigger one would have everything so yeah it always creeps up on me man, it's brutal you know, October's always crazy, I have birthdays and anniversaries and then November always tends to like fly by and I'm always like yeah I'm gonna order I'm gonna order Christmas lights or I'm gonna get this or that and then I don't and then I'm like man and I was so like mad last time that uh couldn't remember what worked, what didn't work, so I just like I'm buying all new stuff. But anyway, enough of that nonsense. Um, back to figgy pudding. Uh, it's really good. It's delicious. Uh, you know, in the same vein as like I said, Sleepy Hollow, Arrowhead. If you like those, you'll love this. Um, it smells amazing. It tastes amazing. It burns very well. keep talking and letting it go out. Um, so yeah. They were out of stock when I first went to order it and then within a day or two it was back in stock. I'm pretty sure it's available now. And uh, 
John David Cole is just a really nice guy. I, he did the virtual pipe club, and I, uh, he's just one of those guys you just can't help but like. He's just, just a real, seems like a real genuine, just really great guy. And, um, it was awesome. I, I, I really wanted to give him some business, and I was able, that's where I picked up my Rustica tin and the uh, cobblestone brick Virginia plug. <laughs> Got a couple stickers from him just to throw them, show him some support. But anyway, guys, I'm just about to pull into the second Home Depot of the day. Um, hopefully, they have what I need. <laughs> um, I'll probably make a video. You know, at the bar this maybe tomorrow, or if not tomorrow, maybe Friday. Definitely sometime this weekend. Just to kind of uh, maybe I'll do like a top ten or something, favorite blend, something like that. But um, you guys have a great holiday. If you're in the states, have a great Thanksgiving. Be safe. Don't eat too much. Don't drink too much. Or if you do, make sure you don't drive and you stay put. And uh, yeah, have a great Thanksgiving, everybody. And remember. If you're traveling for the holiday, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.